Immediately after the Cleveland Cavaliers season ended, a tell-all story released airing out all of their dirty laundry. We received a bunch of details and anecdotes, but the one thing that really set Twitter ablaze was the revelation that Darius Garland would demand a trade if Donovan Mitchell were to sign an extension. Now this is a narrative that grew out of control quickly and took a life of its own. But what I just said isn't even exactly true, and a lot of people might not have realized this because of the way the media operates. There was never a report that Garland would in fact demand a trade if Donovan Mitchell was extended. The only thing we knew is that his representation, Clutch Sports, would meet with the Cavs to discuss what comes next for their client, potentially finding a new home if that became the best option. This is a typical thing for any agency to do, but it is especially on brand for Rich Paul and Clutch Sports. This is what the players pay him for after all. But again, it was never directly stated that a trade request would officially follow a Mitchell extension. Of course, that did not stop the aggregators from aggravating Cavs fans and stirring up a mess in the process. This full-on media storm is something that has become far too common, and we just saw a recent example of this with the Mitchell extension itself. How many months did unverified sources go unchecked as every podcaster and national media member repeated the same rumor that Mitchell was unhappy in Cleveland and would never sign an extension with the Cavs? This is the type of stuff that is just unavoidable. A rumor like that, no matter how unverifiable it might have been, is always going to bubble to the surface because it makes for compelling content one way or another, and no one really cares if you end up being wrong. You are drawing in fans of other teams who want to find out if a star like Mitchell could be available on the trading block, and you are also successfully rage baiting the fans of that smaller market team drawing in more attention all the same. Now, the initial Garland report did not come from Darius himself, nor did it claim that he was unhappy with his fit alongside Mitchell. It simply stated that sources briefed on the matter, say Garland's representation, Clutch Sports, CEO Rich Paul, would have a conversation with Cavs officials on potentially finding a new home for the one-time All-Star if Donovan Mitchell signs an extension. And now I won't pretend to be stupid, anyone can see what is being implied here, but the phrasing of this report is intentional. There's a reason why Shans and none of the other credible reporters who contributed to this story decided to conclude anything in this sentence. Potentially finding a new home is not the same as demanding a trade. And well, now we are hearing that Garland was pissed off by all of this because it was never something that he expressed himself and so while it would have seemed fair to interpret that initial report as a sign that Garland is unhappy, anyone who used that as concrete evidence for a conclusion was wrong, and it's why we need to be patient and allow things to unfold on their own. There is a race to report things before they happen, and the clout-chasing environment we now live in means that some people are going to take the risk of making an educated guess and reporting it as a fact in order to appear like they are on top of things. How many times do we see a random reporter suddenly emerge at the forefront of NBA free agency by running away with aggregated stories before a few bad guesses expose them as a fraud? It is very easy, if not a little tedious, to compile what we see from actual reporters, repackage that work into a five second tweet, add a little spin of your own, and then pass it off like you are the one getting all of these scoops. Pages like Dunk Central make a living off of repeating what other reporters have said, oftentimes intentionally stoking the flames by cherry-picking moments of speculation as if they are credible, properly sourced conclusions from national reporters. This is a thing we have seen time and time again, and I'm just asking NBA fans to smarten up and stop being so reactionary. Tying this back to the Garland report, it was never stated that Garland is unhappy in Cleveland, that he does not want to play with Donovan Mitchell, or that he would refuse to return if Mitchell signed an extension. That was all stuff of assumptions and opinions, and while it might have felt like an obvious assumption to make at the time, again, it all looks foolish in hindsight. You cannot jump the gun and make those declarations if you are a serious, responsible journalist. You should not be making conclusions before you are given something conclusive to report. 
Now, if you want to simply speculate and share your opinion, then that is 100% totally fine. That's something we all enjoy doing. And I want to be clear, I'm not attacking anyone who simply shares their opinion or makes guesses based on what has been reported. It's something that I do on this very channel, but I do my best to be transparent and clear that I am not connected to the Cavs, nor do I have any sources, and I am not pretending to know what comes next. I am simply sharing my thoughts off of what we know so far. The reality is very few people have close enough ties to NBA front offices to accurately report on such things. NBA teams tend to be lip-locked with their true intentions, and there's a reason why Shams and Woj are the first in line to break every major story. They are the best in the business because you rarely see them get things wrong by speculating or guessing on things. They have genuine connections and have worked their way up by not making a fool of themselves, at least not very often. They almost exclusively report on things that they have 100% confirmed and verified with credible sources. And that cannot be said for some of the accounts that aggregate stories and pass them off as their own. So this was a long-winded way of saying three things. One, if you are an aspiring NBA reporter, do not cut corners and think you can cheat or gash your way to the top because it only takes a few times being wrong before people realize you aren't actually as connected as you pretend to be. Number two, if you are a fan, I would say you should put less stock into just about everything you see or hear from the NBA rumor mill, especially from the accounts that have proven to be primarily concerned with clout chasing. This stuff is fun and I'm not here to be the fun police, but just spend an extra moment or two considering your source before you work yourself into a frenzy. And finally, my third point is the topic at hand. And just to correct the score, the recent reports suggest that Darius Garland is not going anywhere. The Cavs appear reluctant to let go of him. His trade value isn't super high and he was not fond of the way his story was spun. His relationship with Donovan Mitchell appears to be just fine and I wouldn't expect him to be traded. At least it's not something that is guaranteed to happen this summer as it was initially reported or aggregated, I guess I should say. Now, as I said throughout this entire video, this is just the latest batch of what we've heard. Take it with a grain of salt. Things change fast in the NBA and every player, team, agent has PR as a top priority. They are working just as hard to spin things as the baseless accounts on Twitter. The message of the day is be patient. Be less reactionary when forming your opinion. You shouldn't be drastically flip-flopping from one side to the next every time a new whisper drops on NBA Twitter. And that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know the drill. Leave a comment, drop a like, and hit subscribe. Let me know what you think of Darius Garland's future in Cleveland. I hope that you enjoy your 4th of July weekend. I plan on having some content focused on the NBA Summer League soon. And of course, I will be continuing to cover the offseason and whatever the Cavs decide to do or not do. And with all that being said, go Cavs. Thank you.